So I've actually added a, as basic a back end as I could come up with here. Let's just close a lot of this stuff up. So here's my server file. Uh, and I've got a um, static directory that I have here. I've got some people. Again, we'd probably end up using SQLize and actually even have a mistake here with a post. I'm going to test some of this out by using curl. So I've got my express application listening on a port. And I've also set this up so that here's my Webpack. When I start dev, it runs Webpack. I've got one ampersand here because this is going to be a process that's not going to finish. I'm going to run NodeMon. And just to make this a little bit more efficient, I don't want to restart my server if JavaScript gets changed either in my dist folder. And let me switch this out to a slash over here. So if I go over here and I ended up running npm run start dev, I'll see that Express is not there. So here is where I'm going to end up installing Express. And this is going to be a regular dependency. We'll get the app to run. And we'll just do a quick curl here. Again, assuming that this ends up running. I mean to do that. I meant to do this. Path is not defined. Let's fix the error, that error too. So on our server, which is, again, about 18 lines of code, path equals require path. Get rid of that. Okay. So now we're listening on port 3000. Um, so if I go over here, what I want to do is I'm going to do a curl uh, to HTTP localhost 3000 slash API people. And it should end up being an empty array. But if I was to go over here and say this is going to be a post, again, it's a little bit fake because it's just going to give me a random data. And I have an error here, so it's good to actually find that error before I start testing things out in the browser. This is going to be people.push. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to end up restarting here. Try this again. And I'll get a user back every time. And if I do curl just with the X, I'll get back several people. So instead of actually um, doing this with data that we're you know, right now our client-side app is not calling the server. Let's go over to our source. Let's actually look at our uh, store. What we're going to end up doing a little bit differently, when we end up adding a random person, we're going to pass in that person here. And let's get rid of this over here. Um, right now this is not going to end up working, but I'm going to go over to each of my components individually. Uh, and what I'm going to end up doing, and let's actually do a couple of things here. Let's also do um, set people. This is going to get a collection of people. And we'll go over here, and this is going to be another action creator. And this is going to be set people action excuse me, type, set, people. This is going to be people. And let's go up here and we'll put this in. Again, this is kind of common where you start adding this. This is when we, when we end up getting people from the server. So this is going to be set people. And our else ifs are probably going to be better as a switch, but let's worry about that some other time. When we go to set people, Actually, we have the method here. We just haven't used it for a while. Let's get rid of this and this. Uh, and let's actually make sure we end up exporting it as well. And so what we'll do here is when do we want to test do this one? Well, this is probably something that we want to do uh, in our app here. So when our app ends up loading... One of the things that we might want to end up doing here, we might want to make this asynchronous. We might want to bring in Axios. We also want to bring in from our store, set people. 
And what we could end up doing here is that we could go over here and we could await and we'll do axios.get slash API people. And this is where we're going to use our data from this. This is going to be our people. And we'll tell our store to dispatch. And this is going to be set people. This is our action creator. And what we're passing in is the people that we ended up getting from this. Let's just take a look and see if that ended up breaking anything. If we go back here, we'll see can't find Axios. Let's do an NPM I of Axios. Again, a dev dependency because we're using it in our React application. We'll get that. Let's go over here. Could have another error. And let's just take a quick look. So here we've got a return, unexpected keyword return and set people. And I think I just forgot an arrow over here. So let's just go and fix that. Here's our store. And again, these are considered action creators. They end up returning actions. And this should end up building. And if I go back over here and I run this, I'm not going to see any people. But I run into this problem. And the problem is that I really want to do this by serving my application. It won't work with a file because it thinks it's hitting another domain here. So this is really going to be my localhost 3000 that's here. And if we do this, we'll see that we have no people, but actually watch what will happen is if I go and I do this curl again to create a person, I'll do it a couple of times, I should find out that I'll end up starting out with three people. So Let's actually set up another, set this up so that it actually does add a person up to the server. And we could start out with our, let's say our home component. And what we'll end up doing here is that when we go to add a random person, we're actually going to get that person first from the server. So before we end up dispatching, what we're going to do is we're going to do person and we're going to await and we're going to say axios.post slash API people. Now again, if this was a form, there'd be some additional data that we would end up sending up here. But again, the idea here is that we're doing something asynchronous. And then after we're done doing that, we have an await here. And if we have an await, We've got to put an async over here, but we're going to end up waiting for this, and then we're going to dispatch this with the new person that we're adding. So this right now should end, only end up working um, uh, on the home component. Let's take a look. and I think we'll run into a different uh, issue here. If we click on the home component, it's going to tell us that it doesn't know what Axios is, because again, when you need something in a file, it's modular, just like the server, because of Webpack, we have it installed already. We'll bring in Axios. And now on our home page, we could end up adding people, and those people will end up getting persisted. On the people page, they won't be because we're not going to the server. So let's actually just go over here and really end up doing this exact same thing, but we're going to end up doing it on the people page. So our map dispatch to props is now going to say, hey, look, before I end up calling this action creator, an action creator is just something that gives you back a regular, plain old action. Before we end up doing it, we're going to await and we're going to get that data. So when we're ready, we'll end up dispatching to the store. Again, I'm going to run into the same issue. Import Axios from Axios. And now on whichever page that I'm at, if I'm on people, I could add people. If I'm on home, I could do the same thing. And either one of these will end up uh, working. And again, the big takeaway here is now that we're interacting with a server, 
we want to end up making calls to the server before we end up dispatching our simple methods. What do I mean by simple methods? I shouldn't say simple methods, simple actions. Add random person, takes a person, returns a simple action. Set people, gets past people, returns a simple action. And as long as I call these with some data and I end up going to the um, uh, dispatching eventually to the store, they'll end up working. 